was all, all demonstrated as a, a clear sign of ineptitude and incompetence on the part of the Attorney General in presenting this case to the court. In fact, the evidence they brought were evidence that were very, very irrelevant. Attorney General came to court purely on political convenience and mischief to imprison Honorable Atu Forsen. And this stemmed from the E-Levy. It stemmed from the E-Levy because Honorable Atu Forsen was a ranking member for NDC in parliament. And he was giving them head headaches. He was frustrating and being meticulous on the figures that Kendo Farata was bringing to parliament. So on the insistence of Kendo Farata, they decided to charge Atu Forsen in order to intimidate him, to soften him in parliament so that he doesn't perose and be too critical on the things that he can offer to bring to the finance committee. But in doing so, they realize that it will become too obvious that this is a witch hunting. So well, let's add the agent of the supplier to it, to max it and, let, and deceive Ghanaians and let it look as if it is not a witch hunting. It is a crime that they've all committed. Mr. Jakpa gave his evidence in chief. He also confronted me to a side of the matter, and the judge definitely made the pronouncement. My brother is a lawyer. The Honorable Attorney General is an astute lawyer. He's a well-read lawyer, a revered lawyer. He knows his staff. And so if he decides to say that he's a match fixer, I mean, I don't understand him. Go to the law reports. Go to the Supreme Court of Ghana law reports and look at the case that he's done at the time that he was in private practice. And from 2016 to date, I can say without any fear of vocation that if you look at the ages that we have in Ghana, if it's not the best, it may be one of the best when it comes to his courtroom appearance. And look at international arbitrations. An attorney general who leads his team to go on international arbitration and win cases internationally, not local. So if you say local champion, what does it mean? An attorney general who is able to boost the staff strength of the ministry, giving them the training such that now we do not pay millions of dollars to external solicitors. Only a few of them. Most of the cases that we have on arbitration, we lease. So that's even like if he goes outside to fight those cases, he also goes there to fix matches. I mean, it doesn't make sense if you say that he fixes matches. Right from the beginning of this trial to today, I have not been treated fairly at all by the judge. And I'm saying that because I have written a petition to the Chief Justice on this. So I'm not speaking out of a vacuum. And it's recorded. Is documented. And when I wrote a petition to the Chief Justice and I enumerated all the instances of biasness, abuse of my human, human rights, denying me legal representation, and all the instances, and even the right to even visit the washroom, and the judge at times engaging me as an accused in court when I'm a witness, engaging me, instead of the prosecutor engaging me, the judge is engaging me at times. For even, even at times, my lawyer had to come and say, you are engaging the, key, the, the witness. With all this and the petition I wrote, it's clear that in the mind of the judge, I'm already a convicted person. And I'm just going through the motion. And I stated in my petition. So it's not something I'm concocting from anywhere. And when I wrote the petition, I didn't write it as a secret document. I copied her. So she knows what I'm saying is a fact. And I even stated it in the court before her. And I've no means worse because the scale of justice has been tilted against me. And I had to fight for my liberty, fighting the executive arm of government and fighting the judiciary too on top.